Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Gongsun Zan campaign. We picked things up for episode 4 from turn 62 in the autumn season of 202. And as we uh, got started our last episode, we have landed on the mainland again and we are going to start taking back some territory. Uh, first things first, we have a new faction next to us, Nanhai's faction. So we are just going to say hi and we are at war. That's as simple as that. He was so happy with us that we fought Shi Xie off because Shi Xie is in a war with him. Shi Xie took the Nanhai territory, the trade port. So that means Shi Xie probably have an army somewhere nearby as well. Since he didn't colonize that, I'm guessing he went north after taking that since this army is here. Uh, that's fine. We'll be facing them off whenever that comes. I don't think he's, pro oh, he's providing us replenishment, so I guess he will leave this for now. We have useless generals. Guojia's Trinquel is good. 3% replenishment to the army. And back at home, we have a couple army doing nothing. Um, they're waiting for the next wave of rebellions. And I think what we will do is now that we have decided to land here, is that I might spend a little bit of money and colonize southern Jian'an just so that I can put in another administrator. Because we do have five slots and we're wasting them. And Liu Yao is also someone who's not exactly pleased with us. He's a little bit too high level. So I think I can use him as administrator instead. That's probably what we're going to try to do. I'm going to recall this entire group and use them with the movement trick next turn to get us uh, Southern Jian'an and then we'll send him off. And not only will we send him off, I think we'll be sending him off with a full retinue. So that means Gong Sun Zai has to come back out here. Even though they don't get along, it's fine. We want maximum instinct to get recruitment cost discount for this army. That might mean a stone pig for Zhao Yun. And the whole goal is to have a very cheap retinue. That's kind of what we're trying to do here. There's not much to do here. Uh, it's autumn season. We are going to keep leveling up the city. We're going to bring it to a small regional. Get a couple more building slots. We have the food to do it. And that's pretty much it. I don't think we can do anything else. Did we meet any new factions? Ah, Gaolang's faction. Somehow we met them. That's fine. Only one thing here. They're going to get destroyed too. Oh, they're in a coalition with Shi Xie. I mean, we're already at war with them. Good luck asking for help. They're right here. Gao Liang's this commander right here. And we're going to go wipe them out. All right. That should do it. Let's uh, end turn. All right. Shi Xie has reappeared. Ooh. The Emperor. Why, thank you. Because we're in a war and we have 100 points of, or close to 100 points of Imperial Intrigue, the Emperor is actually sending us aid for 10 turns. So this is a nice bonus because he will help us out. 5% replenishment, 30% upkeep for all units. That's really lovely. 30% recruitment cost. That's super lovely given that we want to recruit some retinues for our um, future administrator garrison. So with them peeking here... And them over here. I think the plan is either we ambush, which might be bad for our siege weapons. So maybe we don't ambush. And what we do is we just encamp right outside so that we can kind of defend both sides and offer a target for them to come attack us in. And in the meantime, we're going to start our deployment trick. Recall the first general. Send her this way. I guess we recruit our son. And we spend 8,000 to colonize. Quite pricey. And then he can be recalled back to do capture rate back at home. And we'll sign... Liu Yao as the industry. Now I understand there is no industry here, uh, but Liu Yao does have the commerce skill unlocked, and the minus construction cost is really why he is here. And the minus one turn of artisans, not too bad, because we will be building a state workshop and a private workshop here. So that's that. 
and we'll give him a nice retinue. Right, so these are 490 each. So cheap. Azor dragons. You'll get a full stack. Thanks to the Emperor. We don't ever have to pay the upkeep because he is simply going to get recalled. Now we should give him some administrator item now that we have done our recruiting. His instinct can come down. He'll get some, um, you know, resolve for population growth. He will probably just pick up a labor recruiter for population growth, even though it's not going to be super relevant in the beginning because it's only one county. It'll go on someone else in the future. But right now, that's pretty good. And uh, he can just be recalled. And once we recall him, that entire retinue will be free upkeep and will be sitting here uh, all pretty in the future. For these two boys, uh, they will stay. I think we're going to do the same treatment to our other administrator here while we have this 30% discount. I'll probably summon Mozi out. Give him. Is he level 6 yet? Yes. Give him full white horse uh, fellows and then recall him. And then he will defend Danshui for us so that we don't really have to even keep a general here to farm um, rebels. Because even if the rebel come, if we have a full stack of white horse fellows, we can defend that pretty easily. Especially if we get this to a level 7 small regional city. And that frees our armies to do more things over here. New territory. We need a building. That's without a doubt <laughs> something we need to do. And he will help us defend it. That's kind of the goal now. Yeah, that's pretty much all. Did we meet anyone new by any chance? Nope. Now it's all about Korong com uh, Shu Xie coming to meet us. Korong, the flag is blue. Uh, let us continue. Alright, Shu Xie is moving closer, but you can see he doesn't have a lot of movement. And he's hovering around, which is making me a little nervous. I guess we'll keep the formation here. They're not going to work together, I, I don't think so. Someone with an armor. Okay. Not really interested in any of them unless they have burn trait. Chojo is back again. Don't want him. What is your armor? Silver or bronze? Bronze. As a stone pig. They all have an item here, <laughs> but I don't know. Bronze armor is not really doing it. A thousand for us actually is quite a lot of money. Right, so I think we'll pass. This assignment's done. I can probably put our son in assignment or our son in. Hmm. Let me get the military thing done first. Let me unlock a couple of reforms. We can get level 4 trade port and level 4 harbor, given that both of our new territory have a harbor and a trade port. We can go for 10% replenishment. We can go for... These doesn't work because we need grain to build the level 4... Um, this is what? Government support building? So we're kind of locked out of resources. Same thing here. We need lumber. Therefore, I feel like the thing that's going to help us the most is either this but there's a couple was a lot of turns before we had to build this i guess this would help us the most level four harbor and level four trade port we can use that right away okay let's do that and he would also have a very cheap time wow 304 for white horse fellas the ratio with the upkeep costs off the charts especially since we don't have to pay for the upkeep costs and you can see what's going on with our retinue here. They're going to help us defend. And that's going to be a great defense against anything that comes to us. And it's a free defense. Now, these boys, I might want them to join our war effort here. So I'm going to recall them and send them across the strait. And instead, we'll have our son coming back here with mom. Why not? And they can take care of any rebels that form. Sounds good. Sounds very good. Alright, nothing changed. Let us continue. Alright, they both moved, but they 
took baby steps. So, I don't know what to do here. I mean, we're not going to obviously move up towards either side and risk losing the trade port. So, we're just going to hover. I mean, we could switch into ambush, but our army is just not really well designed for ambush. And it looks like he's going to start taking attrition soon. Maybe by winter he will. If he doesn't reach us by then, that's... That would be crazy, but it's definitely possible. Um, I'm gonna sit on this side because I don't want them to spawn over here and then not have a place to escape and then get killed because I do want to capture them. Oh, he's off his assignments. Will you go back? A lot of peasantry here. So, Dad and Joel, you're not going over there. It'll be fun, you're not doing anything. You can come join us. And we can get some action here. And that is pretty much all we can do. Let's continue. I hope they walk a little faster. Or disappear from the map or something. Alright, Shishia laid an ambush somewhere. I don't know where he went. He just disappeared, so must be an ambush. A lot of wars in the Central Plains. None of our business. Ooh, Overseer. Now that is a fancy item. No one's healing anymore, so he's gonna leave that. Maybe we ambush too then. Try to bait him out, because he's just not showing up. Mastermind. Arlatan. A lot of bandit characters joining us. I mean, for her... There's a way we can use bandit characters like this. Poison arrow on white horse fellas. Good at kiting. But I like fire arrows too, so... It's a tough call. Rebellion soon? Yes, next turn. They can take care of that, no big deal. Got the Overseer going, everything is building. Yeah, not much to do, just gotta wait for them to fall into my ambush, come on. Yes, we got him. He fell for it. So we could easily delegate this for a decisive victory, which I think I might do. It's not like we can capture anyone. The capture chance is really low, and I do get a heal on the spot in the garrison. Everyone shows up. I mean, the reinforcement will be three minutes late in an ambush fight, so just be them running down the track when I shoot them with range. Yeah, we'll just delegate. It's fine. That's acceptable. Most of the death are on these guys. Barely took any damage. Guozhou took some damage. Okay, we lost three Imperial favor. We'll take money. Now he's on march and we can take him out. That's what we want. So we probably will attack him right away with both of them. See if we can capture him at this point. He's off running away. Ah, teacher's back. 64. We will take him in this time. He might be Gong Sun Du's spy. That's the only thing we have to kind of concern ourselves about. But even then, even then, I think we take him. Right, so. Of course he doesn't like the student, the one who refused to let him join the faction. This is going to be quite pricey for our units though. And if anything, we want them to be mustering here. Because that way they don't move after the fight and they can still be mustering because they're going to do the attack. Alright, we got two idols on lock. So this one I don't think we need to show either, because decisive already, no capture chance once again. 
we're just going to try to push their army off the field. So we can focus on uh, almost no casualties on the delegates. So that's pretty much what we want to see. Got ourselves a trader or merchant. Trader, merchant, same thing. Like the wind, Guajia pick up some experience. Right, they can sit here and muster and defend Nanhai in case that army comes back. We're gonna have to take some time walking out of this jungle. And then we're gonna go grab this food first and then come down to take the level 7 city, which is huge. I'm worried the level 7 city would drain us of our food if we just take it first. So I'm gonna buffer a little bit with food there. Let's build ourselves some harbor buildings here. This one's going up. We got a rebel group. Any items? Nope. So just straight delegate. They still spawn behind us. No, no, no. Don't want to do that. I want to recall a few of them to heal them. Okay, is he unsatisfied with us? Because I figure he would with his high. Level. Yeah, right, sorry. I was looking at which item I can give him. Yeah, we got an extra white horse. Oh, you can take that. Okay, all good. Let's continue. Oh my god, he came for one turn to die. <laughs> uh, now we don't have to worry about him being a spy. He did pass the units on, which is why we summoned him onto the field. Now we don't have to give the unit over to a strategist, because that's not what they're good at. I might give it to him. We were thinking about recruiting him earlier. He does come with the armor. Now also notice that he belonged to Sun Tzu's faction. He brought a lot of mercenary infantry if we do summon him, but this this might be good. We get the armor for flat a thousand, he comes onto the field, level four, picks up some nice units. I don't know if he gets along with the other two general or not, but that looks pretty decent. And we know he's not a spy, because I, I, I looked at him when he was uh available the first turn. <laughs> Sure. Natural cause. Well, we'll give him a fine burial. And pay respect to him like we would for a Confucian teacher. Doesn't get along with Gong Sun Zan. Yeah, a few does. So you're good at capturing. Reckless, good at mustering. Extra speed on you. Bad at avoiding capture. Feared, he gets scare. That's not bad. He can keep the armor. Even go with the more aggressive version. And uh, we'll give you one of these. And a herdsman. Yeah, so he can still pick up mobility for the retinue speed on this destroyer of treachery. And then obviously we will want him to get to the side. So probably gonna go down this way. Binding Fury, not so good. I doubt we'll be able to reroll him. Not the greatest traits. Or, I can set him up to be an administrator, even though nothing here really screams administrator. So yeah, probably just going to keep him on the battlefield. We're going to keep moving. He should have been leading to get us some extra healing, 5% more. But the units are fine. Right, let's let him heal up, and then we'll start attacking next turn. That was a pretty quick death. I thought we were going to have him for a little bit longer than that. And we're going to upgrade all the way to a small regional city. Ten, uh, six more food, I believe. Right, so that's why I was kind of worried about the food situation. I was taking that right away because I know I'm getting this upgrade as well. So we definitely need to find ourselves some extra food. But that should do it. Reforms next turn. That'd be exciting. Guozia got friendly. Guozia got understanding. Okay. Now you lead. Yeah, I know his army somewhere over here. 
I don't think we need any units for this group, even though it is cheaper to recruit right now. But the problem is upkeep. I don't need the mustering anymore. I could get ambushed. Uh, we can fight our way out of the ambush if we do. All right, I want to push Vision up. I hope he's just sitting in here. That'll be the best case scenario for us. That's about to upgrade. Let's get ourselves another building slot over here. Reforms. So this time we got that already. We don't need this one. This one's level 5 harbor only. Level 5 trade ports over here. So if we got if we invest in this one, the problem would be like we can't get a level 5 harbor until we get a small regional city and uh, southern Jian is not going to become a small regional city anytime soon. I could just push through even though I don't have grain right now. I'm not going to have grain for a long time. Whereas lumber could be coming soon. Anything else we can get help right away? Satisfaction for vanguards, level 4. That's our unique building, I believe. Right. Yeah, we could do that actually. Seasonal deployment is also really good. One extra army count is also nice. Seasonal Reployment Cost. Ooh, actually, let's get these. I rarely go for this route, but the redeployment cost right now for us could be big. And then the campaign movement, we can build some forges and some of the commanderies we get later on. Gauldown could be kind of forge. Right, let's take that first. And that is it. I think for this, we have it available, but we just haven't been using it because we haven't lost enough point to justify some usage. And obviously the Emperor loves us, so we're good. All right, that's it. Let's uh, move on and get the fighting going. So here we have someone pleading for peace, getting paid. We're about to destroy them if they, they feel it, but it's a reject. Don't buy. Don't draw his daughter in this case. I mean, looks like a decent administrator, right? With Cordrew as well. Okay, we might recruit her for that. might I mean this is also decent for the same reason and you might think why do we want a commander as a you know administrator because we actually have to have a commander administrator due to one of our special core positions it's based on class so buy is the one that I kind of want to recruit wait how do you have such a good weapon What? Our island is a weapon free zone, so you have to take it off. And uh, you guys have to leave now. Now, girl, how do we keep you happy? 24. Not too bad. We can just give you an item real quick. Keep it above 25 and it's going to be decent. Let's attack. And we'll just delegate it. Sure, we'll take some casualties, but it's nothing that we can't heal up. We didn't, technically, but I think the general took some beating. And we'll let him lead. No rush on the movement. That way we can get 5% more healing. 
And then we get to here, which means we can inch up. No ambush, please. Alright, so we'll join up and take down that high together. Meanwhile, do we want to upgrade the farm? I guess there's nothing else to build. Might as well. I'm not gonna rush that. Maybe you guys can step outside, and uh, that doesn't change anything, so I guess you can sit inside. But what if I give you a couple more generals? That might change stuff, wouldn't it? Yes, at one point. So sort of stand outside. Alright, that is it. Let's continue here. What? They're fighting the Naman factions already? I I'll guess it is turn like 70, right? It's, it's been a while. It's just episode 4, so it feels early for me. They're inside. Good. Uh, this is when we... Flip commands? Do we need to? Am I going to be able to reach them next turn? That's the question. I guess Guizhou doesn't need to be fully healthy. But surprisingly, he has more movement due to this. He doesn't have reach, so... Not that much movement. I would probably want to just... Oh, actually, if they come out and fight us, that would be suicidal for them. Zhao Yun Gong Sun Zhang will take care of them. And there will be an easier siege for us. He's a little weak. Now he's a lot stronger. Yeah, come fight us if you want. Leave your city. And I'm not getting invaded from anyone, correct? We should be fine. Like, this is the defense garrison here, and this is the defense garrison here. Even if a full stack comes with the towers, it's gonna be fine. This one's the weak point, but we should be okay. Alright, I think we're good. Let us... Continue, assuming nothing has changed. Yep, yeah, nothing has changed. Did we lose? Not really. We didn't lose much. I think we'll lose some Imperial Favor here, but that's about it. And once we take it, we should reach second Marquis. Alright, they didn't come out. Left or right. Incompetent strat. Whoa, come on. We can still reinforce, though. That's good. A farmer. A lot of local satisfaction boosts, like him standing there with Gracious and Wise would be 10 points of satisfaction for everyone in the um, county. Which is actually pretty astoundingly good. Plus Farmer, but he is probably a spy, so not gonna think too much about that. No, we'll pass on her as well. A tunic. I mean, we have a bunch of strategists that could use clothing. Let's give it to our wife. She's been been through a rough raising kids. We, we have a pretty big family. Our oldest son's 12 now. So he marks our journey to uh, Egypt. So uh, four more years till he comes of age. And uh, I'm sure our other son is sweating bullets right now. She is definitely not happy. I'm going to make her administrator once we take that, so that's going to be fine. Please be in range. Yes, yes. Okay, good. Let's just go here and launch the attack. End this faction. One less faction. This is total war. Crushing defeat for us despite having a stronger army. Now, how does that calculation work? But anyways, let's start battle. Alrighty. Big city, strong towers, and invisible bandits. So, we're going to be sneaking in and stealing some of these gates with our unit right here. Well, this side is just going to feign attack. We will not fire any tower. Reinforcement will come in. Alright, time is going to be an issue here. We might run out of time in this siege. Run, 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 run. 
no one sees us. Capture some towers. Uh, let's park our horse outside a gate so we can pick the horse back up later. And they're here. Go over there. I'll make sure we turn dueling off so they can't see us from that somehow. Wait, automatically reject. That's right. Climb? Now, there is one issue with towns designed like this. Um, these towers cannot be taken because you cannot put any men on this last piece. You can't walk, so you can't deploy, so we can't ever capture that, which is a little bit annoying. But we can capture everything else, and I mean, even they don't need that them captured, but we might as well in case yeah, the civilians gonna notice us and they're gonna come charge to them. But I, I should go back to invisible soon. These civilians be like, there's the bandit. There he is. He's inside our town. Now, when can I become invisible again? Come on, they shouldn't be able to see me for this long. If I'm not invisible, I can't step down, so I guess I'll capture that one. Oh, these towers. Pesky towers. Ow. Alright, they're, they're moving back because they see some units over there, hopefully. I'm still visible. I gotta fix that. Come on guys, it's been a while. Let me go. Stop tracking me. Don't make me poison all of you. Any chance we can get a duel? Ooh, yes we can. Okay, we would like to see that. Maybe these cavalry's just like, we're gonna follow him. Meanwhile, our other units just gonna ride on in for free because they're still invisible. Somehow I'm visible now. Am I just gonna stay visible to them for a long time? Feels that way. In this case, let me... Can I get off from here? Can I climb down? Oh, there's just no rope, so I can't do it. Well, well, well. I don't want to get shot by those things, but it looks like I have to. Oh, no, I didn't turn off fire. Well, that is what's going to give us away. Uh, but then we don't want to... Oh, this is rough. This is rough. Hmm... Too many interior towers. This one's gonna hit us, but it's not that bad. I might just take it. We're back to being invisible. Okay, we're good. We're good. No one sees us. All good. Everyone sees the Empire Hu, though. Alright. Before we get discovered, let's get out while that tower doesn't shoot us. There's definitely a hiccup in the plans. Okay. Yambahu is gonna also go back to his horse and try to be- oh we're invisible again! Yes! Finally! We just had to get off the wall? That was the trick? Uh, we're visible on the wall. Wait, what's going on? Can I use this rope again? I think I can. Yeah, I know the tower's gonna shoot me. It's gonna suck, but we should be invisible soon again. Just like these boys. Oh no. Alright, we're invisible again. Alright, we're gonna find a different angle. 
Gosh. At least they put some units on this side. But we got too much attention on this side. Didn't work out. Well, we just go to a new area. What can they do to us? Oh, that tower? No big deal. Come grab it. I do want to bash open the gate and get a duel, right? I actually want to aim for the gate this time. There we go. And that means, let's slow it down real quick. Zhao Yun can't pick up that duel. He has no good item, but she is related to a guy inside, right? Othorn and close relative. Okay. All right. Someone's going to get boosted inside. He is. All right. Well, that is happening. We've been standing underneath their tower. Um, so Charlie might be in trouble afterward. We might as well pop the four tower. Meanwhile, Yan Bai was like, what is, what is a four tower? Don't see any civilians. Yeah, discover me now. Ha ha. And then we'll go out, get our, our horse, and then capture everything else afterward. Jolene should be winning soon. Oh, he ran. She ran. Jolene always leaves people alive. All right, he's angry. He's chasing. That's good. That's good. Does he want to duel? No. Oh yeah. You sure you want this? We murder him with a cavalry. Next. Oh. Who saw me? Once again, someone saw me. They kept one guy here, which is super annoying. Am I invisible again? Yes, I am. Why am I getting shot? I'm invisible. My god, this is a lie. Four towers, eight arrows? Too much, too much, too much. Back off, back off. Oh, we got a cavalry coming. Wait, I have this gate under my control. We can escape out of this gate. What am I doing? Wait, I, I, wait, it's not letting me out of that gate. This is a mess. Invisible again, please. Haven't even fired any of our poison volleys. But two other generals are down. Their morale can't be that high. I gotta capture these. There we go, there we go. Coming back, coming back. Not fast enough. Who, what saw me? How am I discovered again? I right, got it. Taking massive hits. I can leave, right? He's trying to shoot me, but I can be invisible again. There we go. Now the question really becomes I don't know how I can get in. I kept this side open so they could technically get in. Does it do enough damage in time? No fire arrows? 
All right, let's just do whatever damage we can do, though. All right, we're, we're running out of time for this siege. Don't chase until you get killed. I'm gonna try this again. Come on, steal that gate for us. Third time's the charm. Oh, they're recapturing that tower. Are they? Oh no, they, they didn't. Good. That would have been dangerous for us. Looks like we got that done. It's a chaotic siege. Mm, we can't advance because this thing... Actually, let, let me just destroy that, then actually I, I'll advance with my infantry. Are we up? Yes, we are. Capture that. That's our invisible. Turn off our will, and then you guys can advance. No one will see you. They can come in like entire town fire because they have the the, the bandit, the raider trait. Okay, I still really want my horse. Do we destroy that one? No. Are we out of ammo? No, we're not. Keep hitting. Get on our horse. Eighty percent. Come on. All right, I got four poison volley in nine minutes. Cooldown is about a minute, so we gotta shoot them out. Use them. No point to waste them on the siege. I'm gonna gun for that. You guys are gonna sneak in as well. Sneak in right here. Maybe we can sneak the the plaza. Did they destroy that? Yes. Okay. Maybe we can still win this in the time. So I'm gonna call these guys four. They're gonna charge straight in. Hello, spear guard. I know it's just you, but you guys are very annoying, so we're gonna tear you guys up first. Everyone's gonna try to be on top of us, so we're gonna back off real quick. Let our generals get in here. Murder some of these guys. Wait for cooldown. Put them in the right place, let them shoot from behind. Alright, we're gonna just hit these all together. We don't have a roar, do we? Oh, we do have a roar. Roar! No need to be shy. Group up with them. Fire well. We have snipe. They're invisible. Come back, come back. We got more targets. How do they see us? They don't see us, but they're charging at us. We're invisible, but we got charged. Oh no, wait. Hmm. How do they see us, though? That's the question. They're not. They're, 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 I'm looking at the wrong units, but the question is, how do they see us? Snipe and stock. Yeah, it definitely cheats here. All right, if we we are staying invisible, we can capture all these. 
And then we can make a charge for it. It's okay, we can help you kill off the cavalry. It's not too bad. You guys have they have spear weapons as their dual weapons, so they're actually pretty strong. All right, we're gonna go try to use our poison volley. All right, they wipe them out real quick. Now we will charge them. Oh. All right, they're still invisible. They are grabbing the stuff. Good, good, good. We have to force the showdown. Go here. Got another roar. We got a smash. Of course, hit the invisible units. Stand by who will park yourself over here. Uh, friendly fire, friendly fire. Don't want to do that. Move up, move up. Four, move up. We gotta capture this. Let him clear the field first, and then we'll charge them. Charge! Alright, you wait for your next charge. We lose our horses, okay? Roar! Slam! Slam! Just stall them. Alright, we didn't capture the last one, we got discovered, so now we're getting shredded because we're not microing them. Um, I don't act- you- uh... We'll capture it first, obviously, or else we'll get shredded by the towers much quicker than getting killed by these guys. Go, charge that, let them stall with them. We captured it. Right, countdown has started, so we can win this just by holding it. We will win in the allowed of time, um, which is what we want to happen. Drawing's cooldown is the quickest. Yanbai will cover us. Make sure no one gets on top here. Take care of them. They try to take it. We'll charge them. It's all about stalling. And we'll cover with the poison arrows up here. Go we'll smash him. Come back, come back, guard the square. Right. Force them to come back, and then we go take care of them. We can play speed this part up. Sure, we're gonna take casualties, but that's fine. Acceptable. There we go, they actually routed. Got the win the proper way here. Alrighty. Clean, clean fight. No, terrible, terrible fight. So many stocks getting discovered randomly, but still, overall, good fight. We, rank, we ranked up, we destroyed a faction, one less faction to worry about for the Total War campaign. We got a school building for free, which means we can upgrade a reform, but most importantly, I get to pick bonuses here. So you always start with one assignment, which I don't like, but in this case, trade is something we don't have to do at all. I would like at least one spy for turncoat looking. And we do want administrators. Even though we have five, those are class restricted. So I want administrators that have the freedom and also character salary decrease is really, really nice. I think this is good. We only have three points. All oh, right, because second marquees. Right, we're very lowly ranked. Yeah, one spy just so we can maybe grab turncoats and then two administrators uh, for the character salary. We don't ever need to touch trade agreements. I don't think extra assignment would do too much here for us. I think this is the setup we will do. And uh, we just need to get another 80 points or so, 78. A mission aborted, early game mission, because we jumped ahead to the last one of the early game mission, which is to get to second marquees. This is a great commandery. Now we don't have to use these. We can have regular administrators, which is where our Dongbai will come in. We got her for her extra 10% commerce. Goes very well here in the trade port. 
and also giant harbor building already upgraded to tier 5. Beautiful. Um, not the version we want, but that's fine for now because we don't have the reform for the version we want. They have a decent amount of food, so actually we're not getting hit too hard. Mm, I don't hate their build, but I do want to make some changes. For example, I don't think we need a marketplace right now. Ideally, we probably go with the state workshop, a private workshop once we get the reform out of the school. And then we probably keep both of these for now. Yeah, I think so. Um, you can see this is what happens when we have a level 4 building without the required resource, which in this case is a tool maker. So instead of getting 75%, 25%, we have 33% and 5%. Actually, it should probably be... Wait, what is it? 100 and it's supposed to be 135, right? So we're getting reduced efficiency because we don't have the necessary requirements. So it's actually better off for us to downgrade it, perhaps, uh, which we will get some refund too, and it'll become even more efficient building for us. Let's do that. And then building wise, this is the only one I think that can actually bring us any monetary benefits. Let's do that as well. And she should get a different item. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Um, We can wait on that one for a little bit because she can get a little bit more expertise than she currently That's. Do we not have a better... Our son's wearing it. Why are you wearing it? You think you're an administrator? You'll get the silver one. It auto-equipped it on him anyways, so good for him. I'm going to steal the population growth from Luel because I get more population growth. It's per county. So it's three counties, 24k here. I don't have anything good for you here. Yeah, when we do, I'll, I'll, I'll give her something. But right now, I don't have anything good for her here. Now, this will be slightly cheaper, I believe. And that's good. We got ourselves a nice new piece of land. Uh, Goldown is next, keeping some Han neighbors as buffer zone. Empty land, buffer zone, Han neighbor, buffer zone. What? Oh, I know what happened. Taotian got uh, absorbed. No. No, 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 no. What? What? I'm confused. How? This is a faction that we have not met officially. So we didn't declare war on them, but somehow the AI tunneling has sent them to us. That was unclaimed. He called. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me think. Tao Ying's faction took Lin Hai. Right, that's the one they colonized, and then they launched an attack on us. How did Liu Bei get down here? How? How? Like, I thought initially, maybe, you know, the event with the Confederation happened. It didn't. It's, it's right here. <sighs> the game does weird things when... The AI just likes to target us, I guess. That's fine, I guess. It's not the end of the world. Uh, this is a good time for us to use this. Yeah, sure. Now, we're going to have him lead to get ourselves some extra replenishment back from flexibility. Everyone should be ready in about two turns, and then they can move on to Gaudan, I guess. I can't say we're safe, just because we're not. We'll go with them. I guess I have to keep this below a small city for a little bit, in case I do get assaulted. That way I can at least hold on to it. Mm. 
Anyways, let's continue. Shi Xie also is scared. But no. Ah, the Emperor has decreed that Yuan, Sh Yuan Shu is the enemy of the Han, and uh, we can safely attack him, but he's very, very far away, so very difficult for us to reach him. Noel has ranked up. He is the Administrator, so he is going to get an Administrator trait. Now, Dongbai could potentially end up getting a nice treatment of authority, like giving her a whole retinue of good units. Azure Dragons, maybe. Azure Dragons work quite well on uh, Sentinels. You get Charge Negation on top of Charge Reflect, you get Fire Arrows, and you get some extra range damage. We don't have the Emperor boost anymore, so it's not that cheap. Maybe he'll give it to us again. Um, over here, the first building I want will probably be a state workshop. And over here, we're going to have to keep this school until next spring. We don't have another build slot, so I guess we'll just keep everything. This I kind of want to get rid of. Yeah, we will. We'll get rid of that. And we'll let them heal one more turn. Although, I don't think it's that necessary. Right, I think we're healthy enough to take the fight. I'm gonna swap. I don't want to be in the water though at the end turn, so we want to somehow get back on land. There we go. Even though it'll take longer to reach them, just because if we delegate a fight, we could potentially lose to that army. By that logic, we want to do something similar with them, although that don't buy force for defense. But she's currently not doing anything, right? Yeah, she's not doing anything. Well, she's the administrator. It's not like she's going to complain, but... She's, she's defending it with just a poor retinue. It could be a lot better, if all we're saying. He has high instinct, so we can use Zhao Yun to swap her. Zhao Yun has much, a little bit lower. 1% lower. Yeah, 1% lower. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get her set up. And we'll swap these for Azure Dragon. They're so much more expensive now, but... This way we feel, we feel better with our defense. And she gets to be recalled. Next turn, this will be much better protected. I'm gonna peek this way. And maybe join them with a landing next turn, because they can only go here. Alright. We do have positions now available for Grand Commandant and Grand Excellency, which we will assign next turn so that we can do the Faction Council, but let's first get to next turn. Alrighty. Peace deal. He already has so many vassals. A lot of characters here. I'll we'll take a look at them next turn. Another tunic. No one's coming yet. Don't know what, what's wrong with Liu Bei, but we got ourselves another uh, general here to kill. Nothing impressive. So we'll be setting up the court next time. We'll put a new reform. We'll build up our area. This is pretty nice. We'll just get the reform here. Pretty easy to do uh, in terms of getting the school one. Demolish it, get some money back. Stay workshop, private workshop. And uh, it should be pretty good in terms of income as we'll continue to make a push west. So we'll sweep through this area. i um, guessing Shi Xie will be over here. Uh, there might be another faction here in Yulian. Yulian is also quite lucrative. And we'll be keeping an eye out for potential good administrators. So we'll be spotting those out because we have currently seven administrator slots, including uh, we need an administrator from the champion class. We need an administrator from the vanguard class and administrator from uh, the commander class as well. So we'll be looking for those. And we also need two new people in our court position for Grand Excellency so we can start using our faction council. And I think overall, not bad. We have uh, made a home for ourselves in Nanhai and also have a little border town in southern Jian'an. Sun Quan is now our... Oh no, we met him. He claimed it. We also met Cao Cao because Sun Quan is his vassal. No! A Yuan Shu I don't care about. Right. 
gonna get spicy. We'll come back and uh, see how we handle that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and see you guys next time. Bye!